Thank you, Jaffney. Well, as summer draws to a close, so does life as residents know it on four lakes along the Guadalupe River. Yeah, the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority cited safety issues with those dams while announcing it would begin draining Lake Gonzales, Meadow Lake, Lake Placid and Lake McQueenie one by one starting September 16th. By the end of September, they will all be down by as much as 12 feet. The night team's Garrett Berger visited McQueenie where residents are enjoying one of their final weekends on their beloved lake. You ready to give it a shot? All right, let's go on in backwards. Thomas Belton worked hard to be able to live the life he wants, co-owning a ski school on the lake where he lives, Lake McQueenie. There's nothing in the world I'd rather do than drive boats and teach kids to ski. I feel like that's coming to an end now. One, two, three! That livelihood and way of life in danger because of a danger the Guadalupe Blanco River Authority says exists to human lives. The aging dams like that one are behind the safety concerns. While the GBRA has these buoys out here warning people to keep back, they say it's not enough. They worry about what could happen if another spillgate fails, like it did at Lake Wood or at Lake Dunlap in May, which was captured in this dramatic video. Though Belton and others may be skeptical that things have to happen this way. I believe there's lots of other ways forward. They know the drawdowns are coming. It is hard to imagine, but unfortunately, it looks like it's the reality. And with the issue of funding repairs or replacements still up in the air, it's anyone's guess how long until their lakes are back. So residents are taking some of their last boat rides, taking in their final memories. I can't stop taking photos of our family in front of the lake and just being out here with the water actually behind us in photos. Savoring the time they have left. I want to enjoy every second of the lake while it's here. That's all I can do. Till they, till we have to get the boats out of the water, I'll be out here. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.